We begin tonight with a look at the White House, illuminated orange as our country observes National Gun Violence Awareness Day. And of course, this comes as we're still mourning the victims of the recent mass shootings in Uvalde, Texas, Buffalo, New York, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. And sadly, here in Colorado, we've had more than our share of mass shootings. Now, just feet away from Columbine High School this evening, Coloradans wore orange as they rallied to demand stricter gun laws. Denver 7's Rob Harris live in Littleton tonight, sharing the stories behind why all these people came out tonight, Rob. Yeah, Shannon, we saw a huge sea of people come here in front of the Columbine Memorial. We heard from Congressman Jason Crow, who was briefly here at the event. He called on a nationwide ban on assault weapons. And we also heard from people from all over sharing how gun violence has touched their lives. We cannot be complacent. No. Just a few steps away from the Columbine Memorial, a large group comes together to listen and speak and walk and wear orange. We need people to know we are addressing a national crisis. Their orange shirts are symbolic. They represent the safety gear worn by hunters to protect themselves and others from gunfire. We have to vote. We have to vote with our feet. Jane Doherty's wearing orange for her sister, who was shot and killed in the Sandy Hook school shooting in 2012. She gave her life so I can keep showing up and talking to people. I can keep going down to the Capitol. I can testify. I can encourage other people. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired. So there's hope. This time it has to, something has to happen. Paul Houston is a dad, a grandpa, and a veteran. And he hopes this time is different. I hate that thoughts and prayers, uh, but I'm here with my body to say something to the people of Uvalde. It was really the horror there that got me to say, I'm getting the boots on again. It's time to march. The crowd here today seemed very aware that the chances of Congress passing stricter gun laws right now are very slim. So that's why they say they're ready to mobilize, both literally today in this walk and also when they vote in November. In Littleton, Rob Harris, Denver.